Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 3 of my 100 animal drawing series. So let's dive in. So on to part 3. This is the next 25 animals in my 100 animal drawing series. If you haven't seen the other two videos already, I will link them in the top bar for you so you can go check them out. Now I'll be drawing the, uh, which number is it, number 51 all the way up to 75. I already made a list of the animals I was going to draw uh, before I even started this, this challenge, so you'll be seeing the ones that I've set aside for this, this episode. Like in my previous episodes, I'm using my alcohol markers again. I know, it's kind of a cop-out, but I love them so much. I think they are exactly the kind of style I want to represent these animals in at this point in time. So, sorry if, you, if you're bored of seeing alcohol markers. Otherwise, I hope you enjoy them anyway, you know. I think it's a really good way of drawing animals, especially, you know, getting that colour down really quickly so you can put the detail in over the top. So for this episode, I started off with the larger animals first in the list I had already. Um, it kind of didn't work out very well in a way because I ended up having not very many large animals and therefore the smaller animals I had which filled the spaces ended up being crazy out of scale. They were just the wrong size. But I think that's part of the fun of it, isn't it? You know, if I was drawing everything to scale, the small animals would be teeny tiny and wouldn't really, you know, wouldn't really appear very good on the on the page. So yeah, you'll see a lizard that's the size of an eagle, I swear. Like, it's, it's, it's not worked out very well. Also, very quick sidebar, my cat is on my desk and he's purring away right now, so hopefully I'll catch him on audio. Say hello, Dusty. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that, all of you cat lovers out there. A little tiny purr from my cat Dusty. I just wanted to say that I'm really excited to see that my YouTube channel is slowly building up with its subscriber list. Um, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for joining me here on this channel. I'm trying to make it my aim for 2022 to really focus on YouTube. So to see people actually joining, liking, watching my videos, it's, it feels so good. Um, and I'll use this opportunity to say if you do like this content, please subscribe. Um, give me a thumbs up if you actually want me to do stuff like this again. Comment below. You know, every little thing like that really does help me. Um, especially watching the videos in full if you can. If not, don't worry, obviously. But um, the more people are watching, liking, subscribing, you know, all that jazz is a massive boost to my, to my confidence. And, you know, it encourages me to do more stuff like this. So... If you can, I would really appreciate it. If not, that's fine. I can, you know, I completely understand. But um, yeah, I really appreciate every one of you that's stopping by and checking out my videos. So back to this episode at hand. As you can see, I'm slowly working through my 100 animals. It's been a lot of fun actually doing an art challenge like this. I draw animals all the time anyway. I'm pretty much solely an animal artist. Um, but even so, it was really fun to set myself this challenge. Um, if you haven't seen my other two videos, like I said, I'll link them up uh, in the... Well, I'll link them in the description, I'll pop them in the top bar for you if you want to check those out. But if you're new, obviously, um, I'm just doing this series of 100 animals as a way of kind of pushing myself to try new techniques and to try drawing animals I haven't drawn before. Um, and I find that actually doing challenges like this meant I was really getting on top of putting those shapes down and getting those sketchy lines in really quickly. I think by the end of this episode, each sketch was taking only a couple of minutes. Um, but I think obviously it's, it's all my experience that is kind of, kind of adding up to this point, so I appreciate it's not going to be the same for everyone. But I honestly encourage everyone to at some point do an art challenge like this because it will improve your art skills. You might be you might be in denial. <laughs> you might, you know, you might disbelieve me at that point at this point in time. But I promise you, do it. <laughs> do it. You will find that your art style and your art techniques will improve very quickly if you set yourself a challenge like this. 
I was absolutely in that kind of mindset before where I thought well what can I you know what can I learn from just doing an art challenge you know I'm not setting myself anything major I'm not actually learning any techniques here but surprisingly just by saying right I am going to draw a hundred of something I am going to try doing a you know full illustration in just this if you're challenging yourself you are kind of saying right I dare you and I think you're holding yourself accountable in a way um, that makes you kind of really push yourself. Uh, so honestly, if you if you are considering it and you want to kind of pointers or some kind of ideas, I've made a little free guide on art challenges. I'll link it in the description below. It's completely free. All you got to do is sign up to my email list and I'll get that, you know, that document sent straight to your inbox for no charge at all. Honestly, this little document is wonderful. It gives you a bunch of reasons why art challenges are so good for you, a full week of mini art challenges, and an entire month of word prompts just to keep those creative juices flowing once you get the ball rolling. And it's all free, so what's to lose? I want to make 2022 an amazing creative year for all of us artists out there. You know, for me, 2021 was a bit rubbish, it was a bit flat, and it wasn't until the end of the year which it started to pick up again. And I want to, you know, hit the ground running with you lot. I really want to help you, you know, embrace the inner artist, embrace all the things that make you a fantastic creative person. So who's with me? You know, if you feel like this year is going to be your year, drop a comment below and let me know because I'm there to hold you accountable. I'm there to encourage you and we're going to make 2022 absolutely awesome. Now I know that my audio commentaries for these videos is a bit hit and miss. Uh, I am learning and I, you know, I hope you can bear with me. I really want to get better and I want to improve and to make videos that you guys want to watch. I think the main challenge at the minute is me kind of working out what to say, but I appreciate because I'm new to this that I'm not going to know everything, I'm not going to be a master of this at any, you know, any early stage, I'm going to have to work on it, and it's the same with any skill really. But I think what I want to do is to really show up and to let you guys know what I'm about. You know, I want you to understand who I am, to get to know me, for me to get to know you, and for us to kind of go on this creative journey together. I want you to see that, yes, I might be a little bit further on in my art journey than some might be, or, you know, some people are probably ahead of me in their art journey and are just checking out these videos for inspiration. But whatever you're here for, whatever you're, you know, hanging around for, let me know because I want to know you. I want to get to chat to you and see who you are and make friends with people. That's what I want this art community to be about. I want to be making friends and to be encouraging everyone because being an artist is a, such a valuable thing in this day and age, which not, not enough people appreciate. So I'm going to be telling you straight, if you're an artist, you are fantastic. And if you're an artist, you are absolutely vital to the way society runs. And <laughs> I know it's extreme and I know that's why it sounds a bit extreme, but I still think that if you create and you draw and you paint, um, you make things, that you are as important as any skilled person on the planet. And that's going to be in my ebook. I'm going to be you know, ramming it full of with, you know, this positive affirmation that you, as an artist, are so important and I don't know how else to make people believe me, but I'm going to make you believe me. Trust me. I'm an artist. You're an artist. If you are an artist, if you're just hanging out because you like watching those videos, fantastic. Thank you so much. But if you're an artist, you are so valuable and don't ever stop creating. With that kind of impromptu rant over, I'm going to wrap up this video. I'm on my last little animal here, the hummingbird. So thank you so much if you watched this video all the way through to the end. I really hope you enjoyed. And I cannot wait to bring you the fourth and final part next week. So thank you again and I'll see you soon. Bye.